Hello, good morning. This is a very quick one. So today we're going to learn how to install fonts in packs. Okay, automatically install as many fonts as you want all at once. So first off, um, you head over to our our resources uh, community. You could see I pinned the font uh, pack on top. So click on that to download all the fonts. So once you download all the fonts, they will be in a zip file. I also pinned or pointed you guys to zip files which you can use in extracting all kind of um, zipped or raw documents. Okay, zipped or raw documents are documents that have been compressed in a particular file folder, okay, so that its sizes are not as large as it seems. So um we are simply going to what we are gonna do now is we're gonna head over to our font folder and these are all font folder I could I want to install. I have all these but I'm gonna take a few of them as an instance to teach you how to do it. Now window eight is to window 10 is totally different way to sort this particular folder or directory which you use in that installing this font. Now, usually you are supposed to double click on each font and hit on install. Okay, I already have this asking me if I want to install it again. So, this is simply what you need to do. Separate it. So, I love this font, that's why I separated it here. I would like to use it later. So, um, simply that is how you used to do. So, what if you have thousands of fonts to install or hundreds of fonts to install? If you are doing that all day, it's going to be tiresome. Now, there are reasons why you should install your font one after the other and not all at the same time. The reason be that you want to choose specific fonts you want to work with so it becomes easy for you to sort fonts instead of you going through debris. So in your font uh, drop down, it becomes easy for you to sort for the best font instead of going through all of the logs of fonts, hundreds of thousands of fonts you have installed in your PC. So that's the only condition the only good reason why you should uh, install your fonts manually, one after the other. But if that's not the case, you have all fonts organized, like the fonts I sent to you guys are very well organized fonts. Almost all of it are nice fonts. I have specific special folder inside of that folder too, that I called my name or Kata Graphics or something like that. You can sort that out, install all of those, if, even if you don't want to install the rest of them. Okay, so to install all of those, select all the fonts you want to install, like so, or you click on Ctrl A to select everything. But make sure there is no folder that you selected. If you are selecting a folder, it won't work. Make sure you are selecting only the font files. Don't select a folder because this is not the same for format in the place you are landing these files into. Now, originally, natively, if you want to search for font, you can search for font, like so, and you click on the font. We have the font here, okay, in Windows 10, the latest version of Windows 10, you could drag in fonts from here to here and automatically they start installing themselves automatically. As you can see, click on yes, the fonts are installing. You can do this, select all, do this to all, just by clicking on this dialog and click on yes, automatically all those fonts will install automatically, all of them. But in older versions of Windows 10, this is not available. So you can do that from here. So in case you face this issue, you don't find it from there, still hit on your Windows uh, tab, search for Control Panel. On Windows 7, you already have that when you click on the Windows tab. So search on Control Panels, click on it. Then here you search for fonts at the top, okay? F-O-N-T, I mean. Okay, so now we have the fonts. All you need to do is click on preview, delete, or show hidden fonts. Just click on that. And we have all this now. Very simple. So now we have all this. All you need to do is, all you need to do is um, drag in the font. The same process we did in the first one. Drag it in and drop it here. It asks you for this. Say hit on yes. And it will install all of them automatically. Even if it is 1000, it will install all of it automatically now if there are fonts that are already existing here it will still dialog you to let you know there are these fonts existing you can replace them or you can skip those particular one so that's how to install fonts heading over to the next tutorial for today i'm going to teach you guys how to present the design okay we're going to use a grid layout by the way this is the birthday for first firstborn birthday one of us 
I wish him well. So um, the dialogue we are going to, I'm going to make this as simple as possible. We are going to use the logo we made from yesterday tutorial. Okay. So we're going to use the logo we made from yesterday tutorial. Let's sort for that. Okay, fine. So first off, I want you to do some stuffs. Okay, it depends on the format of your logo. But for this, look at what I want you to do for me. Okay, so you could go to this place, right click and select on the rectangular tool. You could use rectangular tool to draw a certain line, possibly top like so. Um, okay, this okay, top like so is okay. Then we'll draw another line or we could simply double click, drag this one, hold the alt key and drag it out. We can rotate it. Okay. Then put it to start from the bottom part and extend it to the other end. So this number two step, we have number one and we have number two step. So this particular space, we are going to put in our logo. This is what I just want. This is just what I want you to do for me. Only the logo icon. Okay. We rest here. Fine. Only the logo icon will rest here as bold as this. No name. Okay. Now, the next one is the logo and the name beneath it. So, we're going to sort the logo and the name beneath it. We're going to pull this above this. Make it a little bit larger. And uh, that is it. Select the both of them and we pull them inside of this place. So, we'll have the logo and the name on it. See how simple that is. Okay. Now you see the background. We are having a conflict in the background because what if we selected and changed this background to the particular brand color or a darker background? This was what I was trying to explain yesterday. If you use a darker background, you see the text is lost. Okay. So in this situation, you can do two things. One, changing the text color before importing this image to white or whatever color you think is, is, the, is, is suitable. Or you're changing the background color to a lighter uh, shade of that particular brand color. A lighter shade of that particular brand color, you can achieve it by selecting the brand color itself. How, to, how I pointed this color to select, you can point on any color and select it. How I point it with the uh, 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 color picker tool is, when you select a particular background, double click on the color overlay over here. Okay, now click on this color over here. Okay, now you are ready now to pick colors. Can just hover over anything and pick whatever color you want to pick so we pick that color we understand that this is the grade of color we want then we can choose the lighter version by going as though we are going to the white area see what i'm doing we are going as if we are going to the white area i can drag along when you are doing whatever you are doing you can drag along it okay so we do as if you are going to the white side of the color that particular color we choose you see we can now get a lighter shade of that particular we call this the pastel color of that particular color we need okay so this is it it's as simple as that you hit okay so we've gotten this for this value we've gotten this for this value so now now we have the logo with the name beneath it and we have the logo alone without the name so now we are going to use the logo with the name by the side so z z z now we drag this in and we convert that particular color the background color we have here already we have to convert it to a darker shade of this particular brand so make it as small as you can just let it be minimalistic you could even start from here to make everything align perfectly like this aligning with the one at the, at the top okay so that is okay for what we want it for or you could put it in the middle if you like then the background color we are going to take a darker shade of that particular brand so select on it pick the, the brand color then go to a darker shade of that particular brand now look the issue we are facing now now we picked the darker shade of that particular brand look the issue we are facing okay the color of the font is uh dark and it's not well uh it's not showing perfectly well here so i told you guys do not use black colors on dark background and do not use dark background on black elements okay that's not going to work i made a tutorial with about that in the past so to fix this you can do this in photoshop if you want you can also do it in illustrator to do it in photoshop head over until you select the rectangular mark you tool make sure you are selecting first of all make sure you are selecting the element you want to change the color 
take the mark 2 draw above the mark 2 once you are above the mark 2 click on the v button in your keyboard click v okay then click the arrow up button in your keyboard arrow up or arrow down or arrow left or arrow right any of them can work arrow up to focus on that particular color so now we have that color we can now start painting the color by using the uh, brush tool then select the color we want to paint on it you can select white or we can select the shade of that particular brand maybe this particular brand shade okay then we can now click above it to bring out this dialog telling us that this is a, this smart object must be rasterized you can do this from here or before you do it you click on the object right click on it and click on rasterize layer by so doing you won't have that dialog but if you still have that dialog you can go on and click on okay and everything will be done now you have this if your cursor is changed to a plus sign click the cap lock to unlock it the cap lock doesn't show this the size of the uh of the brush click on the cap lock to um on 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 tick it if the cap lock is capital letter it won't show it will be like this click on the cap lock to unlock it then head over to this particular angle increase the size of the brush too so we can have more area to to erase on okay so now we can erase on top of the white any part you erase is the part that is going to take effect it's not going to touch any other parts so by so doing, as you are done with that click you can right click and click on d you can click on Control d to deselect this particular uh uh smart fields that you have just used in selecting a specific uh, uh area that you want to style so we hit on Control d which means Control this select okay is this selected and we have what we want we can now align it to the center if we want it to be in center i think center would be preferable so this is basically what i wanted to do the second way to change the color of the logo before you import it is to do it from illustrator just select the whole color you the whole uh stuff you want pick on the color tool from here double click on it then select the brand color which is something close to this and select the lighter version of that and we are good to go you can now select all and drag it into the part you want it to be so this is how i want you to present your logo as simple as this don't put any detail just as simple as this okay just as simple as this this is what i want you to do for me you could further extend this let's try to extend this so we can have more room for okay why i extended it is so we can have more room for this okay I can extend this a little more extend this a little Okay, we made a mistake here the, the 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 extension worked only from one end so make sure you're holding on the center button and you extend proportionally okay, we still do the same thing increasing the size increasing the size okay. okay let's start let me show it stops here and make sure it starts from where this one is this one is okay from here so now um this is what i want okay the logo with a name beneath it on a lighter background the logo icon alone on a light a white background a lighter background and the logo icon and the text on a dark background you could use black you could use anything that's related to the brand color i'll be sending a sample in the group so it will be a guide for you guys enjoy the rest of your day